folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with Growing Green, and we're looking at another peculiar problem on one of our beautiful lawns uh, with Cryptomeria cypress. Now these are the Yoshino, and this is a typical issue with the Cryptomerias in the fall. You start to see some molting, normal molting, but in this case, we're dealing with some other issues. If you can see this circospora, this is leaf spot. There's also another problem with them. Another blight, so to speak. That's what that is. All of these on the interior are doing that. And then Pestilatiopsis is another one. But I want to show you the severity of this. We move back here to this group in the back. This is a little more severe. This is the typical signs you see, symptoms we'll get up to when we get closer. Signs are that the lower branches are really dying back. This is dieback in the lower branches. You can see up top, everything's nice and healthy, brand new foliage. They're going to seed, but this is what happens. It's a disease, now probably caused by watering this lawn and prolonged leaf wetness on these guys here. And let's see, there's three, four, five. Um, you also will see scale. There's scale insect on some of this foliage that I've noticed on the tips. Get in really close. If that would focus. There are scale insects, like an armored scale. It, it's pine needle scale. It almost looks like a, uh, they're little, little black bodies that are formed just on the tips, down in on the very tips of these. There's also some mites, which is probably an afterthought infection after the the plants were weakened by the Circospora and the Paleoteopsis, uh, which is the two typical blights of the Cryptomeria. And boy, I hope this doesn't spread too much. You know, we had all these problems with Bacchospheria canker and Ceridium canker, the worst, on the Leland Cypress, which were overplanted as screen hedges. Everybody was looking for an alternative. And the Cryptomeria was the big, beautiful, fast growing. They'll go 40 feet. Uh, quickly four feet a year was a perfect plant as a replacement and now we're seeing this and it's it was bad last year and it's getting worse this year what we can do as a control is get over here with the fungicide and do some treatments on these probably uh, the next year is going to be important too since we know we have it uh, another thing to do would be to remove all of the dead branches discard them get them out of here i know they won't look too great for a while but um, we can get these to come back and then a good healthy fertilization i noted one thing about these um and it's typical the lower branches um these were planted in the baskets the jury's out on that. I mean they do say that uh, if you plant in the metal basket as you can see the little metal basket still on there and that this thing is going to get huge and engulf that metal basket but as you can see a little mite sign here um this is a shame there's some more webbing i don't know if that's from an actual spider here probably not spider mites that's a spider but this is uh circospora and paleoteopsis fungus infection or, or leaf blight on Cryptomeria cypress. Want to share that with you. Growing Green does offer up a spray for that. Uh, if you do see your Cryptomerias going south, give us a call. 854-7999. That's area code 336. Again, Tommy Cowett on the lawn. And I hope you all are having a great day. Pretty long.